Happy Tuesday, Cougars. It's Mrs. Pacheco again, ready to draw with you. So today we're gonna to be doing a sleeping cat. And you guys are gonna decide what your cat or where your cat is sleeping. So on the left side, go ahead and start with an oval. Now this oval is a tiny bit at an angle, not exactly straight in front of you because his head is tilted or her head. We're gonna to go to the top of our oval on the right hand side now and go up and down kind of like we're drawing a letter A. We're going to go to the left side and duplicate that ear up and down. We're going to go inside those ears and do the same shape just a little bit smaller so that we can see the inside of our cat's ear. Now we're going to go and do the details in the face. Go in the very center of your cat's face. Do a tiny bit of a curved line with the letter V coming down for his cute little nose. Draw a line straight down. And then we're going to do a little happy face shape on the left and on the right. Now, because our cat is sleeping, we're gonna do two curved upside down rainbow shapes to show that our cat's eyes are closed. And we're gonna go to the right side of his head, touch the head, and almost do a backwards letter C. We're gonna loop it around and a little bit underneath and look where it lines up, right under the right side of his face. We're gonna do one cute little paw right there that he's resting his cute head on. And then we're gonna do the other paw on the left-hand side and wrap it back towards the body. We're gonna do two little up and down shapes just for some detail on his paw or her paw. Now, because this cat is sleeping and on the edge of wherever your cat is sleeping, the tail is gonna drop down and around. And it's gonna hang over the edge of wherever your cat is sleeping. So your cat could be on a table. It could be on a car, on the floor. You're gonna decide that when we're done. So for more details, we're gonna do a striped cat. We're gonna do some letter V shapes on the forehead. We're gonna draw three letter V's coming down across the forehead. Now we're gonna to go to the right side and the left side of his face and do sideways V shapes. So to a point and back, a sideways V and back. Then go on the left side and do the same thing, a sideways letter V and back and a sideways letter V and back. So the cat not only has stripes on his head, but on his body. So let's go ahead and add some more V shapes right where his neck would be. And we're just gonna bring him down. Then we're gonna go on the cat's back and drop down four skinny letter Vs. We wanna give this cat lots of detail so that when we color it, we can choose what colors we want. Next, we're gonna add some detail to the tail by just making stripes. So we're just gonna do straight lines all the way down the tail. You guys will be able to color those in at whatever pattern you would like at the end. So Mrs. Pacheco has decided that I'm going to do my cat on top of a fence. My cat is sleeping on top of a fence. So I'm gonna draw the top of the fence where the cat would be laying on top of. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. All the way across, it's almost like my horizon line. The top of the fence is showing me where the sky would meet the ground. Or for us, the fence. Then I'm gonna do the detail in my fence by just drawing some straight lines down to make the wooden planks 
all the way down and your lines do not have to be perfect because this is a wood fence this could be an old wood fence that's not perfect and because our cat is sleeping let's add some z's to show that our cat is snoring or purring while she's sleeping okay time to add that magic guys get your colors because it is time to make this colorful go ahead and add your details and share 